The new Eden burning scenario for Anno 1800 may seem challenging, but there is actually a lot of rewards that you can get on your island and around your island to help you get to the gold medal or even just to succeed. I'm Strike Gamer and welcome to another Anno 1800 episode on my channel. This is about hidden burning. We're going to look at the reward crates hidden in the city, as well as the unique plants that you can find on your island, but also on the sea. I'm going to tell you where to find them and tell you what kind of rewards you can expect and why you should be doing it. Before we look at all of the details, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're into strategy games, city building games, in particular Anno 1800, this is exactly what I cover. Don't hesitate to subscribe, it is completely free, it helps you know when I post a new episode and it definitely helps me. So first things first, you may actually not know this, but there are rewards hidden in this city here, next to your main port in this city. Yoska tells you about it at some point, but you actually don't have to wait. You know, I'm right at the beginning, uh, we can see you know, two, two minutes, less than two minutes uh, since the start and the crates are already there, you don't have to wait. You definitely want to get them as quickly as you can. There's always five, never less, never more. They come right away. They always give you the same reward. But the catch is that they always move. They're never at the same place in the city. So even here, you know, this is a new game that I just started. So I don't know where they are. We're going to need to look together. The good thing is they're not that hard to find. Uh, they look like this, but there is a red tapestry on it. We can find one here, for example. You don't have to go in first person mode. You can really get them from that view. This is the first one. We'll talk about rewards later. Second is here, third is here. Again, I'm just finding them live, right? They could be anywhere in your city. Uh, where's number five? And here is number five. It was hidden in the corner. It's always the same reward. So let's look at those rewards. Let's get back to our city. I haven't built anything, right? We're still not lying to you, we're still right at the start. So nobody has consumed any resources, nobody has produced new resources. We start at the beginning with 40 timber and with 10 fish. Now we have 47 timber and seven bricks. That means we got seven timbers and seven bricks. That's quite good to help kickstart your city. On top of that, we got 12 plantains and 12 fish, right? Because we had 10 fish before. 12 plantains, 12 fish, that's really good once again to kickstart your city because you won't have to wait until you're producing them to give them to your people so that you have more workforce. So you can give them right away. And lastly, pretty good too, 10 tools and tell steam beams. On top of that, you do get two items because all of these legendary ones, you know, they come from my previous game, but those two new ones, they come definitely from uh, this crest, this crest. The first one is a dynamite, which uh, helps you refill one of your iron mine. When yeah. it gets to zero, then you can use the dynamite to um, refill it to its fullness. The second item here is the Pythorian Calciner. Is actually an uncommon item, pretty easy to also get yourself. It's only five timber and five tools, but of course getting it for free is a bit better. And this one is a bit more complex because it increases the productivity by 100% and it also increases eco quality impact by 20%. What does that actually mean? Because we're increasing the productivity by 100%, you're gonna need half of the buildings that you would usually build. Instead of the two concrete factories, you only build one. But your production is actually gonna be the same because the production is linked to productivity. If you have 100% productivity and you get a minus five of pollution, if you have 200 productivity, you get minus 10. Pollution is the same. But now, because of the second uh, element, the eco quality impact plus 20%, the pollution is actually gonna be even worse. So why would you want to use this item? Well, for the reason I said earlier is you're going to build actually only half of the buildings that you would be building. So that means two key things. One is the workforce. You need half the workforce. The second is just the cost, right? If instead of building six brick factories, you only build three, that's not negligible. And even more importantly, for the concrete factories, because the concrete factory requires steel and also 25 electric cables that you need for your last stage 
of the dam. Hope that clarifies. If you have any question about this item, don't hesitate to ask below. That was the first thing, the reward crates hidden in the city here. Now there is also rewards hidden on your city, on your island, sorry, and in the sea. As per my test, I can see usually nine or ten of these unique, what is called unique plants. Maybe when I found nine, it was because I didn't find the number 10 and it's always 10. But yeah, keep in mind sort of nine or 10. There are usually three or four in the sea and the rest on your island. In the sea, I usually find two or three close to my shore. Like this one is an example. So they look like this. You know, you can see them usually pretty far up because they don't look like everything else. Plus, you can click on them. When we do, you know, you get a reward. We'll look at those rewards after. This is fish. Here, there's a second one. So there's usually two or three that are close to my shore and the other ones are further away. So the, the ones that are further away are definitely harder to find. You know, I found them. I found some completely in corners and things like this. So those ones are harder to find. But the one across near your shore, you should find pretty easily. Then, as I said, the rest are on your island. There are some that will be on your the buildable part of your island, like here, which you will usually find while you're, you're building. And honestly, you actually don't need to find them right away, uh, contrary to the crates in the city. And the other ones are usually around here. Uh, let's see, we have one here, we have one there, usually you have one around here, but I don't see one right away. Let's click again around it. Similar to the crates, I can't really tell you exactly where they will be because they do move, but I can tell you to look in this vicinity most of the time. Now, talking about rewards, as you saw when I was clicking on it, I got herborium every time. So now I have seven, for example. But on top of that, you actually also do get items. These ones are not always exactly the same, but they are part of a, a small set of, I think it's six or seven, impact mainly your fishery, your aqua farms, and your non-polluting building. The best epic ones to find though, you won't usually find them on your island, you will find them more on the event island that are around the map. If you don't know about this event islands, don't hesitate to check the video that will appear now at the top. You can also find it in the description of this video if you want to look at it after because I'm not done yet. But that video will definitely show you all you need to know about these event islands. If you like this episode, don't hesitate to press the like button. It really does help both myself and also YouTube to know that this video could also help other Anno 1800 players. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, don't hesitate also to share in the comments below. And I hope to see you next time.